Thank you very much, uh, Laska Hulock. Uh, I'm sorry not to have been in the house uh, very much recently, but um, my cancer has come back and is now in my lung. Um, but that hasn't stopped me enjoying life thoroughly, and particularly on a beautiful day like this. Um, I commend Senator Warfield strongly for his initiative in, take, in putting this motion before the House. Uh, it's an excellent uh, thing to have done. Um, I hadn't realized it was 30 years. I'm not very good on anniversaries. I don't think backwards. I tend to think forward uh, in, in life. Um, but I would also, I would like to recognize, as others have done, uh, my colleague and friend Edmund Lynch in the gallery, uh, Martin Barnes, whom I haven't seen for some time, and, and the others as well. Um, uh, mention has been made of my old pal, Jeff Dudgeon. And I'd like to say this, that our two cases were quite different, uh, because in Jeff Dudgeon's case, there was a raid uh, for drugs. And coincidentally, they came across a diary in which there were notations about homosexual encounters and so on and so forth. And it was only accidentally that they came across him and started to prosecute him. Uh, he went then straight across to Strasbourg. Um, I didn't. Uh, my case was deliberately, politically planned. It was an attempt to drag the whole question of homosexuality out of the darkness, out of the shadows, out of the shame, uh, and place it as a matter deserving of proper uh, political uh, respect and, and uh, attention. Um, in the case, I had very good legal advice. Uh, there was Gareth Sheehan, who was a remarkable solicitor. I think he's now a judge, perhaps he's retired. Uh, Gareth Cooney. And we chose Garrett because he was a conservative Roman Catholic. Uh, and we thought this is exactly the kind of person we want to attack from inside. Uh, so uh, Garrett Cooney got up on the first day and he said, uh, uh, Justice, uh, my client, Mr. Norris, is a congenital irreversible homosexual. Well, that was news to me, but I said, well, whatever <laughs> it takes, then let's roll with it. Um, and. Um, the next day, the morning papers said, um, um, uh, said uh, opening his case in the High Court yesterday, Mr. Uh, Garrett Cooney, SC, told the court that he was an irreversible congenital homosexual. Garrett went crackers and <laughs> demanded a retraction. So the next day, the headline was, I am not a homosexual, says Garrett Cooney. <laughs> and everybody over their breakfast marmalade was going, mm-hmm, hello. <laughs> Well, whatever about that, his eyes are very close together. So um, there was a lot of fun involved uh, in those things. I, I could go on about it, but I, I, no point. I, I'm very honored indeed to have been uh, associated with moves which led to greater happiness for many young men uh, in, in Ireland. And that, that is, I think, a great achievement. I'd like also to pay sincere tribute uh, to Maura Gagan Quinn who is a minister, thank God it was a woman. I don't think a man would have had the ball for it, to be quite honest with you. I really don't. I don't think they would have faced up to it. But Maura Gagan Quinn was approached by a Fine Gael uh, backroom girl uh, called Phil Moore, whose husband had a radio shop up at the top of Grafton Street, or, or Kildare Street, I don't know where it was. Um, and um, uh, their son Dermot was gay. Uh, and uh, she went and she spoke to Maura Gagan Quinn as one mother to another. And I think that sold her. Uh, and I think that was absolutely great. So I'd like to express my gratitude, uh, my thanks uh, to the people of Ireland. I've always felt the people of Ireland were decent, civilized, and tolerant. And so they proved to be. This was not an Irish law. It was not when it was introduced, the Labouchere Amendment under which Wilde was convicted. Uh, that was introduced in the late 19th century as an adjunct to a bill. It was never discussed even in the House of Commons. It was introduced after midnight. Now it's gone, and thank God for it. We will not mourn its passing. Thank you very much, Lasky. Thank you very much, Senator Norris.